am very happy in the Lord that you have shown your care for me again. You continue to care about me, but there was no way for you to show it. I am not telling you this because I need anything. I have learned to be satisfied with the things I have right and with everything that happens. Right, I know how to live when I am poor, and I know how to live when I have plenty. I have learned the secret of being happy at any time and in everything that happens. When I have enough to eat and when I go hungry, when I have more than I need and when I do not have enough, I can do all things through Christ because he gives me strength. I read to you Philippians uh, chapter 4 verses 10 through 13. May the Lord add a blessing to the hearer and the doer of his holy Amen. word. Amen. Amen.
I love that song. Amen. 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 That's one we should put in our hearts. Isn't that right? Yes. Trusting yes. in God. Right. Trusting in the Lord. Yes. Until we die. Yes. Amen. Amen. It's so good to see you all today. You may be seated at this time. Amen. It's good to be in the house of the Lord one more time. Yes. Such a blessing and honor. Amen. I always say, why not praise a God who's been so good and so kind to us? Amen? Before we go in, I would like for the ushers, well, one, and Stella Deans, amen, to have come. I wanted to pass out something to her. Try to get all the dust, but at least the head of the household. I don't know if I have enough or not. Amen. God is good, church. And he, he's not good just sometimes. He's good all of the time. Amen. Even when we're going through a bad day or a bad spell, it's not God that's bad. Amen. It's just that he's good. Amen. He's still watching over. He's still keeping us in our right mind. Ain't that right? Amen. So God is good all the time. I think y'all y'all have a good week last week. Yes, sir. Amen, amen. Yes, sir. Yeah, after that, uh, that word last week, I mean, it, it worked on me the whole week, yeah. and still working. It's still going. That's right. That's right. It's still going. Yes, yes, sir. sir and ma'am, amen. They, this is what the word of God does. It never get old. It's always new. You know what I'm saying? People be saying that's the same old sermon we heard the other day or whatever. You know, it's, but it's. It's a new sermon to me. Amen. When I hear it again, it's new to me. Amen. When I pick up the book, these words live. Yes. Amen. And that's how it should be with you when you pick up the Bible. They live. Amen. They tell you something. Amen. You can read the same. You can read one verse over and over again. You'll get a different meaning every time almost. Amen. That's living, ain't that right? That's living. Amen. That's, that's alive. alive. That's yes, right. We'll this is a time. The, the, the Bible is a timeless piece. Yes. Amen. <laughs> Amen. It's a timeless piece, and everybody should have one somewhere within their reach. You know what I mean? Amen. Especially a Christian. Amen. We call ourselves Christian. We need our Bible. Amen. Because it's the road map of life. Ain't that right? Amen. Amen. So if you have your Bibles, I hope you do, after saying all that. All them amens I got. If you have your Bibles, we're going to ask if you would uh, turn with us to Romans 6 chapter. Verse, uh, I'm reading you here in verse 1 through 3. Romans 6, verses 1 through 3. And I'm going to read the NLT version today. Amen, because we want to make sure everybody get what God is trying to tell us. Because God has a message for his children today. Yes, and this is what it says, church. Verse 1 says, well then, should we keep on sinning so that God can show us more and more of his wonderful grace? Of course not. Since we have died to sin, how can we continue to live in it? Or have you forgotten that when we were joined with Christ Jesus in baptism, we joined him in his death? We're going to talk to you for a little while about have you forgotten? Right. Have you forgotten? Amen. And church, I know how forgetting it is. Amen. How forgetting it is. Mm -hmm. How easily some things slip our minds. You know, uh, we forget certain things that need to be done throughout the day, throughout the week, throughout our lives. We're going to forget some things. Ain't that right? That's right. And we forget to pick up certain items at the grocery store. You know, we forget to... Uh, Sometimes even tie our shoes. I remember one time I forgot to put on my uh, work shoes before I got to work and end up going in there with my house shoes on. <laughs> Amen. But thankfully, my you know uh, if you if you know anything about my house shoes, they most of the time will be some type of tennis shoe that that don't don't look good, of course. Amen. But uh, I did forget that one time. But we forget things sometimes. The list goes on. Sometimes we forget to pick up the children from school. Have y'all ever done that before? 
Be honest. Children. Children, have your mama forgot to pick you up? <laughs> Amen. I've heard that happen before. Amen. It didn't happen with none of my children, but it has happened before. Amen. With some children. Because life is gets so busy sometimes. Amen. And then we pretend to forget. You know, you hear it on TV. Some people forget to leave their child, children in the car. Amen. That's happened. That's real. Amen. And unfortunately, sometimes it don't come out right. Or come, or come out well for the children. Amen. But we got to keep in mind that, you know, every, everything and everybody is moving so fast these days. Amen. And, and it's so fast that our minds really can't keep up. Was what's going on. But there's one very important, extremely important thing that we must remember, and we got to remember this daily. Amen? Amen. And that is who we are in Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm talking to the Christian right now. Amen. Those who have been saved, been baptized. Amen. Because if you ever forget that, then you're an open target for sin. Mm, yeah. I mean, it just, it's just open field day for you. Amen. And uh, that's where the title, Have You Forgotten, came from. That's where Paul was talking about, Have You Forgotten How Christ Died for Us? Mm. Have You Forgotten How You Laid Down With Him, Amen, in Death to Sin? Amen. Mm. Have You Forgotten, Amen? He won't memorize it. To answer that question, have we forgotten, amen, that we were joined with him in baptism? We joined with him in his death. Talking about Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 We die with him. And that's what baptism is. It's a symbol of what really goes on in the heart. Right. Amen. In other words, your old self has died. Mm. Amen. The old you, amen, the old you that, you know, Really didn't have any care in the world about anything. Mm -hmm. Amen. But when you died, amen, when, when you was baptized, that physical baptism, when you was immersed in that water, when you were laying down, that, that is a symbol of you laying down in the grave with, with Christ. Right. Amen. Amen. But when we raise you up out of that water, right. when God raised you up, he raised you up out of that sin life. Amen. Amen. You living now. You really living now. Amen. We thought we were living before before uh, we become saved. Mm. But when you become a Christian, amen, when you give your life to Christ, you really living in. Yes. Don't let the world fool you and say that you're not uh, free when you're a Christian. My God. You are free and you're free indeed. Amen. 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 That's when you really got real freedom. All right. amen. amen. Because, you know, the world will say uh, Christianity is so strict. You can't do this, you can't do that, you can't. Well, a lot of those things you can't do, you shouldn't be doing anyway. Even if you're not a Christian, you know what I'm saying? Just think about it, amen? So uh, we are free, and we are free indeed, church. And you know, it seems like, and I know it was, Paul in his days, amen, was having the same problem that we're having today, Amen. People were forgetting who they were in Christ Jesus. Church, we don't need to forget who we are in Christ Jesus. We need to take him with us daily. Amen. And the way to do that is to start the day off right. And I always say start off with praying. Amen. Start off thanking God, first of all, for waking you up in the day. Amen. Morning, whatever time you get up. I know we're working. I know I work crazy shifts. Amen. But whenever you get up, thank God for it. Thank God for the day. Ask God to lead and guide you throughout that day. Yes, God. Amen. Don't go out of the house without telling God that you love him. Without letting him know that he is the head of your life. Amen. Amen. That's how we not, don't forget. Let's go back to verse 1. Okay. Verse 1 says, well then, should we keep on sinning? Should we keep on sinning so that God can show us more and more of his wonderful grace. And his grace is wonderful. Ain't that right? His grace is amazing. 
So Paul was having the same problems back in his day, amen, with the church. Should we keep on sinning? That's a question, ain't it? That he's asking the church. God's grace is absolutely amazing. God's grace is magnificent, amen, wonderful in every word. But it is not a license to sin. In other words, the world would give you a license to sin. Amen? Amen. But it's void. It ain't no good. That's what that little blank card you got. That represents the world. That doesn't represent your license to, to uh, sin right there. And I want you to take that card with you daily. Amen? To remind you that you don't have a license to sin. Ain't nothing on there. It ain't no good. Try to get at the God when you get up here. Hey Amen. When he asks you why did you sin, if you, hey, I got this. Ain't nothing on there. It ain't no good for nothing. Hey Amen. Put that in your wallet. Hey Amen. Remember that. Hey Amen. That's your license to sin, what you got there. Hey Amen. The devil, hey Amen, he implants these bugs, these diseases, hey Amen, to our heads. So that we can think that we can sin as much as we want to. I'm talking about Christian folks. He wants to think we can sin as much as we want to. All we got to do is sin and go ask God to forgive us of our sins. Then God is going to what? Forgive us of our sins. Come on, help us. Help us, God. That's the license that the world gives you. Amen. That license is not, not good for anything. Amen. Just ask God to forgive. Some people do uh, sinning in first degree. In other words, they think about it mm. thoroughly be before they do it. Amen. Amen. That's right. And you know what? Right. I'm going to tell you later on, but I already know that God always gives us an escape yes, from these situations. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. But sometimes we plan on sinning. Amen. We, we already know we we, we, we buy certain things, uh, rent certain things, uh, uh, whatever it takes to, to sin. Amen? Right. Amen? We buy this stuff well in advance, knowing that we're going against God's rule. Amen? We're going against his commandments. Amen? We're going against the Christian way of living. Amen? Amen. Because we know that we have God's grace in our corner. In other words, we're taking God's grace for granted. Amen. Shame on us. Shame on us for uh, for thinking this, or allowing the devil to implant, embed this behavior into our minds, church. And this type of mindset of just blankly taking God's grace for granted, you know, God is a jealous God. Amen. And he don't like being used, church. Amen. But we're all sitting here today under his grace. By his grace, we are sitting here today. Amen. 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 I've, I've sinned in the first degree before. Amen. 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 Yes. Yes. I don't think I'm the only one. <laughs> but I'm here because of his grace. You understand? Amen. You understand what I'm going? I didn't have a license to sin. Amen. Amen. But I did, and I asked God to forgive me of my sin, amen. and he did, amen. amen. What this message is designed for, amen, so that we can go and sin no more, church. Amen. All right? That's what God wants us to do, go and sin no more. Mm. We got to remember, church, that by being baptized with Christ, that means that we have died to sin. Mm. We've been, we have died to sin. In other words, sin really have no control over us anymore. Come on. Amen. Amen. That's right. We've been baptized. Amen. I'm talking about in the spirit now. Been baptized. So sin don't have any control over us. Sin ain't got no control over a dead body. Amen. That's right. No, no. Uh, you go poke a dead body, it's not going to move it. It's just going to lie there, ain't it right? So in other words, what I'm trying to get you to see, your old self has died. All right? Your old self has died. And once before we accepted Christ, amen, we were very susceptible, amen, to sin. 
Sin had its grip on us. Mm -hmm. We did everything that the devil wanted us to do. Amen. Amen. We did everything that the devil wanted us to do. Sin had its grip on us. But have you forgotten? Amen. Galatians 2, 22-21. Amen. And it says there, my old self has been crucified with Christ. Amen. Amen. My old self has been crucified with Christ. Mm -hmm. It is no longer I who live, mm -hmm. but Christ lives in me. Amen. 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 That's right. So I live in this earthly body by trusting in the Son of God. That's what we got to do. We got to live in this earthly body by trusting in the Son of God mm -hmm. who loved me and gave himself for me. Amen. 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 We live in a Christian life now. Amen. We, we, we're living that new life. Amen. 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 And verse 21 says, I do not treat the grace of God as meaningless. Mm. For if keeping the law could make us right with God, then there was no need for Christ to die. Right now. Amen. For if keeping the law could make us right with God, then there was no need for Christ to die. Amen. Have you forgotten? That Christ died for our sins. Have you forgotten, Mount Moriah? Mm. There's danger in thinking that we can continue to sin because God will forgive us. Yes, yes, <clears throat> Amen. There's yes, danger yes, in that. Yes, what it does is lead to a life of even more sin, more sin, more sin. Yes, then sooner or later, you done dug a hole so deep. You done got in it so deep. That's what the danger is, amen, that you keep on sinning, mm -hmm. that you forget that you are a slave to sin. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's what the devil wants you to do. Forget that you are a slave to sin but because that's what you're going to become. You keep sinning, amen, you become a slave to it. Amen. Amen. Whatever you do, you become a slave to it. Jesus says in John 8, 34, mm -hmm. He says, I tell you the truth. Everyone who sins is a slave of sin. That's what Jesus said. Amen. Romans 6 and 6. Going back to our book. Romans 6 and 6 says, We know that our old sinful selves were crucified with Christ so that sin may lose its power in our lives. We are no longer slaves to sin. Right. Amen. Amen. We are no longer slaves to sin. Right. Can y'all repeat that? After? Because we need to put that in our minds. Amen. Say, we are no longer slaves to sin. Amen. Say it again. We are no longer slaves to sin. Have you forgotten? Amen. Amen. Don't ever forget that. Right. Say that in your sleep. Amen. Amen. Because... The devil wants you to think otherwise. Yeah. Amen. And going on to that seventh verse, mm -hmm. Romans 6 and 7, Paul continues to tell us about our death to sin. But he said, for when, for when we died with Christ, we were set free from the power of sin. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. That's good news, church. That's, that's something to put a smile on your face about. Right. Amen. Talk about the Christian now. Mm -hmm. That's something that we don't need to be forgetting. Amen. And Jesus said, going back to John's, amen, because these things bag themselves up. John says, Jesus says back in John 8, 35, he says, pertaining to sin, it was pertaining to sin. He said, a slave is not, keep this in mind, a slave is not a permanent member of, a fam of the family. But a son is part of the family forever. And he was talking about a slave to sin, Amen. Jesus was saying a, a slave, if, you, if you're going to be a slave to sin, if you're going to go out and do every, any and everything that you want to do, amen, and you're calling yourself a Christian, you won't be a permanent one. You won't be in the family forever. Amen. amen. Right. Because one day he's going to come back. And you're going to be caught, so caught up in your sin that you're going to be in the forgot to ask God to forgive you. Amen. That's right. Because he had been taking God for granted so many times. Over and over. It became a habit. Amen. 
of taking God for granted. That's the danger of it. We don't know when, we don't know where, and we don't know how that we're going to exit this place. Amen. To exit Amen. this part of our life. Amen. Amen. But we do know we're, gonna, we're not going to live in it forever. Ain't that right? That's, right. That's right? So we have to be ready at all times. Somebody said that in Sunday school this morning. We got to just be ready Amen. for whenever he comes back. Amen. Because he is coming back. Yes, he is. So uh, death has no... No power of us, church. Paul says to those who are dead to sin in Romans chapter 6. And we're going to be sitting down in a minute, but we want you to get this. Romans chapter 6, 8 through 9. He says, and since we die with Christ, we know we will also live with him. Since we die with Christ, we know that we will also live with him. We are sure of this. This is what Paul said. We are sure of this because Christ was raised from the dead and he will never die again. Amen. Death no longer has any power over him. Death has no power over him anymore. Amen. So God grace, in other words, should motivate us. Amen. It should motivate us to resist all sin. Amen. Even that sin that we 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 like, <laughs> Amen. Yeah. I know it's yeah, yeah. that's true. Yeah. There are some things that we like that's not right, that's right. Amen. That's right. But God and those things, Amen. If, if we're not careful, mm -hmm. it'll catch us in a bad at a bad time. Amen. Bad time. Yes. So that's why it's not nothing to be playing with. God's grace that is, Amen. amen. Let us not forget that. Amen. Have you got forgotten, amen, that it was God's grace that enabled Jesus Christ to endure the marking? marking. Amen? Yes. That it was God's grace who helped him endure the beatings he got. Amen? amen? The crucifixion at the hands, amen, the ones that he came to save. Yes. It was God's grace, amen? Yes, it was. That led him to forgive our sin. Yes, God. Despite our rebellion, amen, we rebel. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, we, we some rebellious folk. Amen. History, history tells that, ain't that right? Yes, yes. <laughs> Let me read Romans 10. I'm going to start at verse 10. Mm -hmm. Y'all got that? Mm -hmm. Romans 6 and 10. Oh, six, oh. Yeah, I'm sorry. Romans chapter 6, verse 10. Mm -hmm. Talking about this sin thing. We got to get this right, church. Yes. Right. And we don't need to forget about it. Started in verse 10, it says that when he died, he died once to break the power of sin. But now that he lives, he lives for the glory of God. And so, and so should we, ain't that right? Ain't we living with him? That means that we should be living for the glory of God. Amen? That means that we should be living a, a righteous life. People are looking and watching us, you know what I'm saying? So, Whatever we do, we may be leading somebody else the same way. Amen. And we need to be leading them to God. Amen. Amen. That's the way we need to be leading. And the way to do that is to live a righteous life. When he died, he died once to break the power of sin. But now he lives, he lives for the glory of God. Verse 11 says, so you also should consider yourself to be dead to the power of sin and alive to God through Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Just what I said, ain't it? Yes. Verse 12 says, Do not let sin control the way you live. Right. Do not let sin control the way you live. Yes. Do not give in to sinful desires. Mm -hmm. It's in the book. Right? Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Do not let any part of your body become an instrument of evil to serve sin. Instead, give yourselves completely to God, for you were dead, but now you have new life. We got a new life, church. Right now. Amen. Amen. We got a new walk. We got a new talk, in other words. Yes, God. We got a new outlook on life. We're not negative anymore. We're positive. Amen. We, we are happy now because we have God on our side. We are, we're part of the family now. We got a new life. 
So use your whole body as an instrument to do what is right for the glory of who? God. Of God. It's in the book. Verse 14 says, sin is no longer your master. Y'all see that? Yes, sir. Sin is no longer our master. For you no longer live under the requirements of the law. Instead, you live under the freedom of God's grace. We can read on and on. It says, well then, since God's grace has set us free from the law, does that mean that we can go on sinning? There go another question. I love Paul's question. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He said, since we, well then, since we are uh, under God's grace and free from the law, can we go on sinning? Mm -hmm. And I like his answer. <laughs> of course not. Of course not. <laughs> Don't you realize that you become the slave of whatever you choose to obey? Right now. It's in the book. Yes. You, do you realize that you become a slave of whatever you choose to obey? Right. And he goes on to explain you can, come, you can become a, a slave to sin, which leads to what? Death. Death. Or you can choose to obey God, which leads to righteous living. Then he said, thank God. <laughs> Once you were slave to sins, but now you will wholeheartedly obey this teaching we have given you. Ain't that something? Amen. Amen. Verse 18 says, Now you are free from your slavery to sin. And you have become slaves to righteous living. Mm -hmm. So we're going to be a slave of something. Mm -hmm. In other words, right? Yes. We're either going to be a slave to sin or a slave to righteous living. But a slave to sin leads to death. It may be fun for a minute. And that's all it's going to be because it's going to be death for eternity. In other words, when, that when, when it's all over said and done, when we go to hell, it's, it's never ending. Amen. We'll be feeling that forever. Yeah. The Bible tells us those who unfortunately, amen, goes to hell, they're going to be tormented the rest of their forever. They're going to be wanting to die, but can't die. Ain't that something? Wanting to commit suicide, but... And if you did commit suicide, you're going to wake back up again. <laughs> you're going to live it all over again. Torment. Amen? amen? But righteous living, amen, we'll be living with God. Really, we're living with him right now. He's living with us, amen? But... Verse 19, I'm going to read a little bit further. Right. It says, because of the weakness of your human nature, I'm using the illustration of slavery to help you understand all of this. Previously, you let yourselves be slaves to impurity and lawlessness, which led to ever deeper into sin. Now you must give yourselves to be slaves to righteous livings so that you will become holy. When you were slaves to sin, you were free from the obligation to do right. And what was the result? Another question. You are now ashamed of the things you used to do. Things that end in eternal doom. Now, if you look back, amen, at some of the stuff that I used to do, I am ashamed for, for, for what I've done, amen? I am sorry. That's, and that's, that's how we should be. That's right. Amen. We should hate what we used to be. Amen. What we used to do. What we let allow go on for so long. You know what I'm saying? Amen. But now that we living, amen, we living now for God. We living now for Christ. Our life is different. We have a new purpose now. You understand? We're living for Christ. We're trying to lead others to Christ. Verse 23 says, the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life through Christ our Lord, through Christ Jesus our Lord. Y'all see that in your book? Amen. 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 But have we forgotten? Amen. amen. Have we forgotten? Amen. Seems like we've forgotten sometimes, church. Amen. Amen. That sin don't own you. 
Same, same like we've forgotten some kind of sin don't own us. Because we continue in it. We keep on doing the same things over and over again. Amen. And God is not pleased with that. Yes, God. 1 Corinthians 10, 13. It says that the temptations in your life are no different from what others experience. That's right. The temptations, you know, I know we all have temptations for something. Amen. But they ain't no different from what others experience. They ain't no different from what Jesus has experienced. But it says, and God is faithful. God is faithful, church. Mm. And he will not allow the temptation to be more than you can stand. Mm. You hear that? Yes. Mm. So whatever, whatever the darts that uh, God, uh, not God, but the devil throws at you, yeah. you'll be able to handle it. You understand? Because God says so. He says he is faithful. He will not allow the temptation to be more than you can stand. It says, when you are tempted, he will show you a way out so that you can endure. Amen. 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 And if you think back, and some of us ain't got to think back that far. <laughs> Amen. Every time that sin came knocking on the door, Jesus did too. The Holy Spirit did too. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Every time that he came knocking on the door, Jesus was right there Amen. telling you to come here. Amen. Amen. But who did you choose? Amen. Amen. Did you choose the sinful way or the righteous way? That's, a, that's the big question. That's the big question. So, my dear friends, flee from the worship of idols. See, you all don't talk about idols, but so, my dear friends, I'm talking to you now. <laughs> Flee from the devil. Amen. 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 You see, we got to understand that God, he's going to fill that void that sin left. I mean, we ain't going to miss nothing. He's going to say, the devil going to think we, uh, make us think that we're missing something. But we're going to replace uh, sinful life with the righteous life. You understand? We're going to replace whatever that devil offered us with what? God is offering us. Amen. Yes. So we are alive in, in Christ Jesus. Amen. So let us not forget what he did for us. Mm -hmm. He died for all of our sin. There's no need for us to keep on sinning. Amen. Yes. Because God provides a way of escape every single time. Yes. God is faithful. That's why he said God is faithful first because he's going to do it every time. Every time sin come knocking on your door, God is going to be right there. The Holy Spirit is going to be right there Amen. to lead and direct us. Amen. From that evil life. Amen. God is good, ain't he? Yes, he is. God is faithful. Yes, he is. Amen. So my thing with you today, amen, is if there is one today who haven't received, who haven't truly received God as Jesus Christ as their personal Savior, now is the time. Amen. Yes, God. To make him a part of your life. A real part of your life. Because he's not playing. Because it seems like sometimes we forget where we come from. We forget whose we are. Amen. Oh yeah, we all right when we're inside the walls. Amen. When we're on Mariana Road. On the way to getting ready for church. But what about when we're getting ready for work? What about at work? Amen. What about when you go out? Yeah. Ain't nothing wrong with going out. Right. Me and my wife go out sometimes. But what kind of person are you when you get out? Right. Right. Amen. Who are you representing when you're out there? That's right. That's right. Amen. That's right, Pastor. Young people, when you go to the club, who are you representing when you're out there? What you, what you putting on? Who are you trying to impress? Amen. Because you know what it what what it boils down to being, we ain't gonna get on this dressing too much right now. <laughs> but a lot of times that dressing, amen, to lead to other all kind of other stuff. Depending on what you're putting on. And how you wearing it, amen. And it goes for the boys and as well as the girls. Amen. We see it all. 
I mean, we see it all. But don't let Mount Moriah's be like that. Don't let Christians be like that. When we go out, we need to be mindful of who we are. We need to be mindful of who we are representing. Amen? Amen. So let us live a righteous life. Amen? Let us live a holy life. Let us live a wholesome life for Christ. Have you forgotten? The door of the church is open. And there's only one way that you can get in. And that is through Christ Jesus, our Lord and Savior. He's the only one, amen, that would allow us to enter into the kingdom of God. But we got to first believe in him. We got to first trust in him. He got to be the head of our life. Amen? He has to be the one. Let us not take God's grace for granted. We've done that enough. We've done it too many times, sir. The sermon I preached before this was getting serious about prayer. Now this is getting serious about your life. Amen. This is growing the faith family. Before we can go to another step, we got to get these things right first. All these sermons are being preached. They are for growth. We're going to go somewhere, church. But first things first. We got to put him in our life. Amen? We see that there is none today. But we have extended the privilege of the open door of the church. Your blood is not required by our hand. God's word for God's people. Amen. Give God a hand, praise.